Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I will be revisiting my AM transmitter again. So I recommend you watch the uh, last two videos about this AM transmitter. Uh, they go into more of the uh, more technical explanations about it and how I built it and what components. Uh, but anyway, so if you remember, I had it on a solderless breadboard where you could push all the components in and they had rows and columns so everything could be connected together easily. Well, I like that, but the thing was is that all the connections were kind of weak, and if I, uh, say I plug the battery in and it might, the power cables might slip out and come loose and turn everything off, or audio cable might come loose or something like that. So I had to be very careful with the design. And the other problem with it was it was using my only breadboard, and I like using the breadboards for testing, but for months it had just been sitting there with the transmitter in it, so I couldn't use it. So anyway, I was in a Radio Shack a while back uh, in California, and they had this little project board. And it was exactly like a solderless breadboard with the uh, up and down rows and the buses along the top and bottom. But instead of solderless, you could solder things there. And so I bought that along with some other uh, components I'll probably use in later videos. So the other day I spent the time transferring over everything from the breadboard to here. And I'd say it works out pretty well. So here's a bit of a closer look. Uh, and this little jumper right here, that's the on-off switch and you can uh, push that on there because I didn't have a uh, surface mount soldered toggle switch so this will do and then as for the actual cabling like for the audio and for the battery uh, it came with little screw holes in all four corner corners so I was able to uh, stick the wires through there and then hot glue them to reinforce it and then solder it to the parts of the board so anyway I suppose we should turn it on now First I'll turn on the radio, and you'll notice when I plug it in, the frequency will immediately go very quiet. So you see the indication light is on, that's quiet, and it's kind of hard to see but it says tune right there, which means it is picking up a signal. So now let's click play on the iPod. So as you can see it is uh, wirelessly transferring. Now the thing with this, I don't have an antenna on it. Uh, I was thinking about putting one on, but I want some way to be able to add your own antenna rather than having a permanently soldered one. And so since I haven't really come up with a good way, I didn't install one. So this thing is just radiating RF. And uh, it's enough that it can go a couple of feet. I'd say it's about three to four feet of a usable range. And after that, you can still hear it for uh, even more feet, but it kind of starts getting drowned out by noise. So, let me just uh, move this around a bit. So this is about as far as it'll go, and now it's starting to get some noise. And any further than this, it's not very... Uh, enjoyable to listen to because you can barely hear it but you can see that's about three or four feet and even over here I'm still faintly getting the signal so that's that um, it works just like it did before uh, it just doesn't have an antenna right now and the other thing um, that I kind of liked about the old one is the crystal. Is since it was solderless, I could just pull out the crystal and put a different one in so I could change my frequency. Now with this, it's soldered, so I'm kind of stuck with that crystal. And one day I'd like to add some kind of socket or something like that, so I could switch them in and out, but... I don't have that at the moment, so we're stuck with 3.579 megahertz. 
Uh, so, when I do get that, I might make another video. This might end up just becoming a series every time I, uh, add a little thing here or there, but this is how it stands right now. It's all soldered. And you can see I can shake it around and things aren't going to fall off. Nothing's going to come loose. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, check out the other videos. They have, uh, circuit schematics, diagrams, and, uh, better explanations on how it works and things like that. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.